Inspire Community Fine Arts Center celebrates and teaches the arts to both kids and adults in the community. Symphony, Symphony, <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> we love the symphony too. Yeah. Take two. <laughs> Cynthia Trevino is here to give us an example of what's going on. Sorry, I butchered your first name. I apologize for that. Okay, lots of great crap. That tip you showed us off the top of the show was fantastic about doing little at yeah. home kind of, mm -hmm. kind of printing with but just styrofoam, love, right? Oh, yep, it. easy to do at home. We're also going to try some block printing today as well as some screen printing. And these yeah. are all activities that you can do at some of the summer camps. We'll talk more about that coming yes. up. So, all right, mm -hmm. you want to do the block printing first. I'm excited, first. yeah. So yeah. how do I start? So you're going to take a brayer, roll it through okay. the ink. Okay. And this is just printmaking ink that you could get at any and, arts and crafts store. And that's called a brayer? It's called a brayer. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it's important with to use the glass. Is that? Yeah, glass, that? plexiglass, any smooth surface. And then you can roll it onto the wood block. And how many of these do you have at your place for the kiddos to use? Uh, we have several. The so these are um, have been laser cut for us. Um, you can also make your own wood block um, or um, buy like a linoleum block. And obviously, not many people have laser cutters at home to yeah. do that. But if you were to take even a softer wood like a, a pine or something mm -hmm. like that, you could almost do like you did with the, uh, the styrofoam and, and kind of carve something in or, yes. or even carving tools exactly. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then place this paper on top. So go ahead. And you're going to use this one here to roll and press down the paper. You can also use your hands and what? make sure you get the whole oh. surface. Any tips for this when you're, doesn't really matter what you use as long as you get all of that. Make pressure. a practice print first. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's interesting because this is how they, you know, printing has been going on for thousands and thousands of years, and mm -hmm. I bet kids are fascinated by this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just seeing all the different ways to make prints and images is really fun. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, how'd okay. you do? So ah, go ahead okay. and peel off the paper. And there you go. Beautiful. Hey. Oh. Wow, is that how kids react? This yes. is exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I love it. So these we got, we got some waves going here, right? Mm -hmm. That's love very that. cool looking. What's okay. Mike going to do? The other way you said is screen printing. I've always been fascinated by this because how that would work in printing on a screen. So how does this actually work? So starting with the screen, you cover it with photo emulsion, which is light sensitive, kind of like um, film photography. Okay. And you can um, make an image with a transparency, or you could even draw your own image onto it. And, and so there's a, the transparency, you put that over that and then expose it to light. Yes, you just expose it in the sunlight or underneath any type of light bulb. Okay, and then all of a sudden you get then everything that wasn't yeah, exposed. Yeah, it'll, it'll burn the image into the screen and then basically whatever was covered will wash away and whatever was not covered and exposed to the light will burn permanently into the screen. Okay, so then we just yeah, set that down. It's like a giant a... stencil. Oh, yep. very cool. So this is when you have screen printing on cloth or something like that. Mm -hmm. that's how and then it you works, can so. screen print on cloth or paper. Okay, t-shirts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. so, and then you take the special... Yeah, so this is printmaking ink or mm -hmm. screen printing ink. And that's different than... It's a little different using? from this one. Okay. And, this and then great with squeegee. the squeegee, you just... Run it across, and I like to go maybe about five times over wow. the screen. And just to make sure you get all mm -hmm. press down spots here and there. Okay. And these uh, art classes are for what ages? So the summer camps are designed for ages 6 through 12, mm -hmm. but we also offer adult classes, painting, drawing, and it's ceramics. For people to know what you do for the community. Yes. So let's talk about what, what you do for the community and the scholarship program that you have. Yeah. So we're currently raising money right now for the Big Give, and that will go towards scholarships Ooh. for our students. Needed to press down a little bit more. Yeah, that came out great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, and so, Mike. And so if somebody wants to donate or sign up for a camp, where should they go? So you can go to our website um, and find some information there. Okay. We're also going to be at Still Golden this Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. And we're going to be screen printing T-shirts. Okay. And um, we're going to have different designs. And that's kind of like a big give party, if you will, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so get everybody out there, get them inspired. And yeah. then how does, and you said how do kids sign up for the, uh, the camps then? From online? our website. Okay. Website? Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. this is your passion because you said you're all about photography. You do this part time so they mm -hmm. can sign up, meet you, and learn from you. Yeah, exactly. And then some of the other camps, you said this and metalworking. and We're going to have ceramics, metalworking. 
woodworking. Um, we're going to have a photography camp for kids, screen printing, all types of things this summer. All sorts of different um, variations mm -hmm. of art. Oh, thank, that's yeah. great. All thank right. you very much. We'll join Inspire Fine Arts Center for their t-shirt making party and scholarship closeout event tomorrow at Still Golden from 6 to 8. For more information, head to essaylive.com and just click the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank